she got kidnapped from a from her um, adoption center in her bedroom by a big friendly giant. The giant kidnaps Sophie. Sophie's the little girl that the giant kidnaps and later becomes friends with. The town's folk are the people who can make rumors about the giant and how he eats. The giant snatch, snatches up people and eats them for dinner. The other giants, well I can only name a few, are like Blood, Bludger, and like Skull Smasher, are the giants that bully the big friendly giant and the ones that the townsfolk should be making the rumors about instead of the big friendly giant. The settings are in, the, in a village in England, in a giant's cave, so Sophie's bedroom in a field next to the village and right below the giant's cave up on the mountain. These places are very important to the plot by the affecting the landscape and other things you would have to find out if you read the book. Summary and recommendations. The summary of the book is that you would never judge a book by its cover. Like this book, it's actually a very good book and you should never judge a giant by its face and or rumors it's being told. Um, the recommendations of this book, book are to people who love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, and other great books by Ronald Dahl. So it has the last name for it. And because it's same, from the same literature and from the other books. And here's like a clip. Down here into the upstairs windows. That's 